Hello everyone and welcome to the release of the Black Ops 2 Cold War mod. It's finally here um, as a beta and it's only a beta because um, uh, bugs and stuff, you know, I don't know if there's bugs, but if there are bugs, then that's why I'm calling it a beta after all. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it has all the features um that i've been working on uh unfortunately it won't have all the features that the bo1 version will have because bo2 doesn't have mod tools so it's kind of difficult to get everything that i want in the mod but i got as much uh, as i could uh we have rampage inducer xville the, all the perk systems um the salvage systems the armor systems all of that like all the core important stuff um so uh, let's just get into uh, installing it and then uh, playing it. So the Plutonium release page will bring you to this here on the GitHub, which will have a release uh, install here. This is the zip file for all the files. Um, and if you go to the actual repository, uh, we have a custom field upgrade folder, which if you go in here, uh, this is for like scripters or other developers and stuff, you can uh, make your own um field upgrade so this is a base field upgrade script um where you know if you want to make your own field upgrade for the mod you just put in the field upgrade here like the name of it um and then the um uh like the uh the the visual name that you'll see on the menu whenever you select a field upgrade uh and then the shader for the field upgrade and Make sure that you use a shader that's not already used by the mod. And whatever shader you define here, you put it here to pre-catch it as well. And then uh, this will just be the use custom field upgrade, which is right here, which is basically what is um, ran when your field upgrade is used. Um, so right now it'll just uh, set the color to a different color. Uh, this one looks like it's uh, a blue green color. So teal, I guess, <laughs> and then it'll set it back to red. So don't touch this one because this because uh, it basically is setting your health overlay color. Um, so you want it back to red after the field upgrade's uh, done being used. So yeah, um, I see an error there that needs to be self, uh, so that it's setting it for the player and. Not for no one, so I'll fix that, but um, whenever you guys have it, it'll say self before it, it's ran anyways. Then you can uh, just edit and then add whatever functionality the fill upgrade has right there. So um, that's that. Um, then it just gives you the whole rundown on the GitHub, just like the Plutonium page. And this is what I was just talking about. So let's get into the install. So you'll get a download which is the zip file for the mod. So let's just download that or open it. And here we are. So we have a scripts and images folder. And then all you want to do is go to your percent local app beta percent folder and then find plutonium storage T6. And then you just want to drag these in. So the scripts and images folders, drag them in. And I already have the mod installed, obviously, but um, yeah. So we're just going to install that. And then uh, once it's installed, you can just open up the game. Beautiful uh, waiting. We love it. And here we are. We can just uh, load up whatever map we want to load up. And uh, we will be playing in the Cold War Zombies mod. So let's do... Uh, I don't know. Origins, I guess. <laughs> and... 
And we will just wait for it to load up. And here we are. Now select our weapon, so let's wait for that. Whatever weapon you want. Um, we got to go with the MG-08, obviously. And then Ether Shroud. And there we go. Pick up the shovel. All the parts, they show up there. Um, yeah. The whole mod, we got the Wonder Fizz here, but you have to turn on all the generators for you to be able to use the Wonder Fizz for the mod. We got the ammo crate in quotation marks, and here's the exfil, and you can just do the generators and everything like normal. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, if there's any bugs, put them on the forum page, and I'll try to get to them as quickly as possible. Um... As for that, I'm going to get to work on the Black Ops 1 version. Um, and uh, I'll be sending out dev updates of the Black Ops 1 version as I get going. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, peace.